Hey guys, it's Pastor Dustin. Welcome back to day four of Vacation Bible School. I am so excited that you are back with us today. So we are going through the wilderness escape where God guides and provides. Remember, we're following the story of the Israelites after they've left Egypt and they're on their way to the promised land. So let's go through our Bible verse again today. Now I know you're getting better at the Bible verse. We've been working on it for three days now. So I want everybody to work with me as we say this together. Ready? Here we go. It's found in Psalm 16, 8. It's, I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he is right beside me. Psalm 16, 8. One more time, guys. Here we go. Psalm 16, 8. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he is right beside me. Psalm 16, 8. Guys, great job working on that. Now, tomorrow is the day that I want you to be able to say it without having to look at the screen. Okay, guys? All right. So our main point, it changes every day. Now, today's main point is really cool. And I want to explain the motions for the main point. So I'm going to do today a little out of order. I'm going to talk to you about what Bible story we're doing because that helps us understand the motions for the main point. So we followed the Israelites after they've left Egypt. And again, they came to the Red Sea with the Egyptian army coming behind them. God brought them through the Red Sea and then closed the sea on top of the Egyptian army, saving the Israelites. Then the Israelites were in the desert and they were hungry and they were thirsty. And God provided manna in the morning and quail in the evening for them to eat. It was an amazing time where God provided for their needs. And guys, then yesterday we learned about the, the Amalekites, the group of people who wanted to come and fight the Israelite army. And God gave them strength. Remember when Moses held his staff up, they would win. But when his arms got tired and his staff fell, they would start to lose. And so God used the people around Moses to help him hold the staff up. It was a great opportunity where God stepped in and provided strength to Moses through people around him. Well, today... Today, Moses is actually thinking back on what happened in Egypt right before they left. See, it was time for them to leave and God provided 10 plagues against Egypt, helping to change Pharaoh's position where he wanted to allow the Israelites to leave. Well, the last plague that came across, we'll talk more in depth about the other ones during Miss Jennifer's section, but the last plague was the Passover and that's where the angel of death came. And if they had done something, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but if they did something to the door frame of their house, the angel of death would actually pass over the Israelites house and he wouldn't mess with their house, but everybody else's who he did not pass over their house, he would kill the firstborn son. That included Pharaoh's firstborn son. So we're gonna learn about that a little bit later, but knowing that God came and actually protected their houses, almost think of like an umbrella that kind of covers something. Well, the, when the angel of death came, he would pass over their house. So this is what we're gonna use for saves, okay? That's the symbol, like their house, and God saved them by, by passing the angel of death over their house. So here we go, it's ready? It's God saves us. So trust God. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. You ready? God saves us. So trust God. All right, here we go. Now, this time, I want you to do it in like a mouse voice. Super duper loud or super duper high pitched voice. Okay, like a little bitty mouse. You ready? So I'm going to say my part and then I want you to say your part in a mouse voice. You ready? One, two, three. God saves us. Okay, but you could do it even more like, like a high pitched mouse, like, so trust God, right? Like really high pitched like that. Okay, you got this, you ready? God saves us, perfect, awesome. Okay, now I want you to do it like a whale, like really low. Okay, here we go, you ready? God saves us. Perfect. Awesome job. Okay, so keep working on that as we get to Miss Jennifer's section and Miss Kendra's section. They're going to work with you with the, uh, the main point for today. All right, we've already talked about the Bible story, but I want you to really pay attention. God gave them lots of clear instructions that they were to follow. And if they did, God saved them. And so I want you to be able to pay attention to what were those instructions God gave them? What were some of the plagues that God used to to change Pharaoh's mind and, and allow him to, to let the Israelites go. All right, so we're gonna get into songs again, but before we do that, guys, I wanna pray with y'all. Let's close our eyes, let's bow our, our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. God, thank you for saving us. God, thank you for finding it in your heart, God, to send your son to die on the cross for our sins. 
God, we did not deserve the grace that you gave us through your son. God, help us see that today. Open up our eyes and ears. God, if there is a child that has never heard of your name before, if there is a child who has never put their faith in you, God, speak to them today. You know, we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, it's time for songs. And just as we've done before, you've got a main song and I'm adding a couple new ones today. So I want you all to stand up, do these songs, dance around your house, have a great time, and let's worship God together. And then we'll see you back here tomorrow for day five of VBS. We'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>